hello and welcome back again to my channel my name is Nora G and today I will be showing you some DIY terracotta pot decorating or DIY terracotta pot painting still on our black history month DIY series so before we get into it if you're new to my channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Nook Petrol family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back as always now let's get into it So for this Black History Month DIY, we will need some terracotta clay pots, two of each, some black and white spray paint and acrylic paint and some Gorilla Glue. To get started, I used the famous Gorilla Glue <laughs> to hold the pots together prior to spray painting them. This adheres immediately and can take up to 24 hours to fully cure. It is very similar to the E6000 glue. All eight clay pots cost me $5 and change. This makes for a very budget friendly home decor DIY. This DIY has an afro boho feel to it, which can easily be a boho home decor on a budget. Okay? This DIY is part of my Afrocentric home decor DIY series. You can save this for your African home decor ideas. Once I glued the pots together, I spray painted two in white and two in black and allowed to dry. Once the spray paint was fully dry, it was time to start my DIY terracotta pot painting. I will use this acrylic paint I got from the Dollar Tree to create my design. These DIY terracotta pot painting or terracotta pots DIY projects is very similar to my Pinterest inspired wall decor from last week. You can check out that video by clicking on the link above right now and in the description box for my DIY home decor wall art using cardboard or better still after this video okay thank you I will be freestyling my design by hand and you can do the same too there is no rule book for this guys alternatively you can find an African pattern online or at home that you like and recreate just do you and have fun while at it. Okay, that is the whole idea for DIY. Do it yourself, girl. <laughs> so, if you noticed, I am not very particular about the lines. Again, just creating perfectly imperfect lines, just like I did with my Pinterest-inspired DIY from last week. I feel that it gives it an authentic look as well as an ethnic feel. That's just me. But if you want to have perfect lines, go for it. I am focusing the design on the midsection of my terracotta pots in order to distract from the line that divides both pots. That would create an illusion of a full vase, which is what I was going for. Okay, now, if you're still watching right up to this point, I must say you are indeed amazing. Yes. How about you show me your amazing self by commenting terracotta in the comment section below. That way we can keep getting to know each other every week. Thank you all so much. Okay, so I am creating two different designs for each colored vase. So the black vase has a different design from the white vase. So both white vases will have the same and both black vases will have the same. Initially, I wanted to create distinct um, designs for each one of the vases, but I felt on my sketch that it may look very, uh, very, very different, not too tight together. So I decided to stick with just two designs. And here we are. Meanwhile, here are some fun facts for you. Clay pot DIY crafts is a very common art in most part of Africa and has been for centuries. 
what we now have readily available in shops at very affordable prices used to be held in such high value with some superstition or magical rituals attached to it in certain parts of the continent of Africa. Yes. I learned that some tribes who only allow women to make pots, while others who allow both genders. I also learned that in some countries or in some cultures, there had to be some kind of cleansing before any pottery work could be done. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah. Some cultures would not allow a man to be with a woman the night before any pot making work. Mm -hmm. I grew up hearing stories about how it was bad luck for a lady to break a clay pot. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot more of these kind of stories. I just really love them. Oh well, I found this very intriguing and thought to share with you all. Anyway, we are not making a terracotta pot or terracotta clay pot today. We're only painting and designing it for an Afrocentric home decor. So let's carry on. So in celebration of Black History Month, I thought doing a nice ethnic home decor or home decor vases would be a great way to do so, or my own way to do so. So here we are. I am actually doing the same design I did on the large um, black clay pot on the small one as well. This will be the medium um, pot. And once I will be done with this, I will go ahead to do the same for the smallest vase in white. Here is the final look for that medium vase. And now on to our final vase, the last one, the smallest one. I will do the same design I did on the large white one. Just watch as I do this. Keep in mind that if you're looking to recreate this, you can stick to the same design I just did or you can go ahead and just create yours. Again, you can also find designs online or from home. Just get your, get your inspiration from wherever and just freestyle it, okay? So these vases are actually very different from our regular conventional, conventional vases, which have um, an opening at the top. Obviously, because these are terracotta pots, clay pots, okay? So this is meant to be like an ornamental pot or ornamental vase or some kind of like a statement vase that you can place somewhere in your home, right? You don't have to put anything in it. That's why I have them in fours of two different colors and sticking with neutrals so that it can easily fit into any space and any home decor design, okay? And now here is our final look for all four vases. We went from this to this. I just love it. Very similar to our Pinterest inspired wall decor, I really love how contemporary this Afrocentric home decor looks. Again, very similar to my last week's DIY video, I love the fact that this requires only two neutral colors, in this case black and white again, which makes it very pleasing to the eyes. It is also very minimalistic, fresh and modern just like with the wall decor. And it is can easily fit into any space and it's all up to you how you want to accessorize. The good thing about using neutral colors is that it keeps it very versatile. Just like with the Pinterest inspired wall decor or the Pinterest inspired DIY from last week and you can easily fit it into your everyday decor. I also like the fact that they come in pairs of the same colors so you can actually choose to use them as two separate decor or as a complete set of four. That is all up to you but I just love that fact and this really keeps it really versatile. Please do let me know in the comment section what you think of this DIY terracotta pot painting and Afrocentric home decor. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to smash that like button as well as hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you always get notified each time I drop a new video. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching.